Hello and welcome back to this Games Done Quick Hotfix. Once again, we are thrilled to be a part of Twitch's Together for Good event this week by streaming to support Doctors Without Borders. A majority of the funds raised for Doctors Without Borders come from small donations, and a lot of you have already donated a lot of $5. Those $5 can actually buy 20 medications to prevent and treat postpartum hemorrhage, four treatments to cure adult patients with malaria, five rapid tests to diagnose HIV infection, enough vaccine to immunize 13 children against measles, three obstetrical stethoscopes for monitoring fetal heartbeats, and so much more. So... When it comes to giving, any amount can make a huge difference. And once again, thank you so much. You can click the donation button on the bottom there to give to give to MSF today and help save lives. And once again, we are raising money for the support of Doctors Without Borders, also known as Médecins Sans Frontières or MSF. MSF is an independent medical humanitarian organization that delivers emergency aid to people affected by armed conflict epidemics, malnutrition, natural disasters, and exclusion from healthcare without regard to race, religion, or political affiliation. Over the past five decades, MSF has grown from a group of a few hundred volunteers to an international movement, providing over 10 million medical consultations in more than 70 countries every year. MSF's network of aid workers in more I'm sorry, MSF's network of aid workers in more than 70 countries around the world are often the first to deploy rapid, life-saving medical care during emergencies. And of course, I'm your host for this first little bit, Midnight Vesper. But while we did go off and have a Kirby run beforehand, we're going to continue on with Kirby. So we got Kirby, Nightmare, and Dreamland, Solo and Meta Nightmare coming up here in a little bit. And of course, we have a plethora of other games coming up throughout this entire day. It's great time to sit down here donate and again thank you all so much and so once again take it away all right we're back <laughs> we're back and uh we were about to throw hands and uh it made sense in context so this is a nightmare in dreamland um if you're familiar with adventure this is a uh, gba remake of it uh we'll try and get into things so three two one Go. Um, so we did. There were plans for this that uh, kind of fell through, but we we, we got ideas here. Um, I I have thought about like what ability do I want to do, and I've done beam before very recently on Hotbed. So we're gonna do this instead. Uh, we're gonna throw hands and, and enemies. Lots of, lots of enemies. So, uh, if you're wondering, okay, so what's, what does throw do? Well, the short version is we grab enemies or projectiles, and then we throw them. That's kind of it. Um, except we hold it for a little while, and we are a constant hit boss when that happens. Yeah, there's actually a little bit interesting for boss fights. Uh, for movement-wise, it's basically just normal Kirby. Yeah, in terms of your movement, we're, it's mostly just going to be standard Kirby. It's a lot like um, if you decided to not use any abilities. But here's what we're going to do. So the main thing, we just need to carry it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it real quick, grab these two Bronner birds, um, and take down that mini boss in one hit. Uh, that that is that is a that is Poppy Rubber Senior, and that that's kind of it for the most part. Um, don't worry. Throw will definitely start showing what it can do very, very soon. But we're just gonna make our way through here, get ourselves through this goal game. Uh, we want to make sure that we get seven zone gold games so we get in faster. Yeah, and also we want to try to hit the trampoline light as soon as we land on it. Sometimes that's easier said. Yeah, the time is a little bit strict in this game, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, I think... I don't think it's frame perfect, but I know it's like very, very uh, tight timing. Uh, so for like what I do for that, I usually hit A and B the Dever, so I have a better chance of actually hitting it. Yeah. Also, uh, yeah. Thanks, thanks to everyone for the uh, donation so far. It's it's meant a lot. Like 
is known to really good causes. Just, just, just keep getting them, man. Yeah, we still see a lot of good $5 Reese coming up from the refreshment list here. We're almost at 600 already. We got, you know, $5 from Veil of Secrets, 20 from Crazy Bob, 5 from, uh, the, oh, it's like, oh, Need Word Dalek, I think is what it is, 15 from NYGOG Nightgog, I believe. Uh, so we got a lot of other $5 donations. Like I was saying earlier, with those $5 donations go towards, do not forget that we're almost at 600 and we can almost get there with like $250. We keep on going with that. That extra 250 can do 17 jerry cans used by refugees to, to transport and store clean drinking water, one portable basic surgery kit sufficient for most examinations of complex wounds, supplies to make 82 dressings for patients post-surgery, one delivery kit to provide our staff the instruments needed to assist with childbirth, and so much more. We're almost at that 600. I know we can push for it. All right, so you're gonna see what I just what I just did to uh, Frosty, and this is Wispy. We just hold an apple in front of him. <laughs> show him, show him this nice apple we found. Uh, for some reason, he didn't like it. Yeah, so since throw basically has a constant hitbox while you're holding something, you and these bosses, and these health bars just melt. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the throw hitbox in general is like uh, I think it's like 12 damage. Most bosses have 60. So they die in five hits. <laughs> Unfortunately, throws a little tricky to actually keep. Uh, just this is this is one of the rarest abilities in the game. Uh, the only the only the only enemy that gives you it is a mini boss known as Fan Fan. Uh, you won't see Fan Fan for a while. So the only other way we did it is through Mitsin. Luckily, if we mix with Waddle Doo as our first enemy, we just uh, guaranteed get thrown from it. So absolute worst case, we can just do that. I do enjoy the headband when you do the throw ability. Oh, the head the headband's the best part. Yeah. I don't know oh, why. I've always just, I've always just been a nice fan of headbands like that. Yeah, for whatever reason in this game, Bat Swap also has the headband, but it's like it's it's the fighter headband, so it's the red one. Um, and it's the only only time where it's like that. So this is Grand Wheelie. We're gonna hope he gives us a uh, enemy real soon. Looks like he's going to. Yes, it's perfect. And we're gonna show him that wheel, and then we're gonna give it back to him, <laughs> and he's fine. <laughs> and, and this is why throw is kind of a fun one to see, because uh, this is most of the fight. It's just hold the thing out to show them, and uh, oh no, they don't like that for some reason. Unfortunately, the last thing this shows up in is actually the the, uh, the previous thing that we uh, ran through, Sweet Squad. Um, it hasn't been in it since, uh, to Suplex kind of just... kind of just took over for that. <laughs> Suplex is fun in its own right, but it doesn't... it isn't quite as good for, like, hip, uh, constant hitbox shenanigans like this does. Or, or Bat Drop. Bat Drop can do the same things, but Bat Drop's a lot harder to use. Um, and the, that becomes very apparent much later into the run with, uh, one of our bosses. Uh, cause one of those bosses, if you do it with throw, it's not too bad. And if you do it with bat drop, you basically have to grab it frame perfect every, like, five times in a row. And it's kind of a nightmare. Nightmare in Dreamland? More likely huh? than you think. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab these, I'm gonna throw it that one over there, then just keep tossing them. There's the other Javelin Knight. Each of these do have names, I assure you. Uh, collectively, they are the Meta Knights, and then it's like, it's like Mace Knight, Axe Knight, Spear Knight, Javelin Knight. I wonder what weapons they would use. Huh. It's almost like they're named after what they use. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, yeah. clearly, Axe Knight actually uses a spear. <laughs> I thought say it'd be really funny if he just switch switch weapons. <laughs> it get a little confusing. 
that, would also, be, that, would we, be, that would be a great visual to add. But anyways, go on. Yeah, I was going to say we did hit 600. Let's nice. go. All right. Uh, so th this is this is another mini boss. This is Mr. Tit Tot. And we're going to make him face the music. You just threw the cost of a music pack at him. <laughs> we, we actually can, in fact, attack with the sound of music. <laughs> I like that, yes. Yeah, the, the, the best part of this is the fact that uh, it, even enemy projectiles can be dragged. Uh, even if Kirby can't normally inhale them, those he can. Uh, but one but one example, like the, the Meta Knights, the Axe Knights, normally you can't, if they throw the Axe, you can't grab it. You can't inhale it. Throw, however, can grab it and throw it back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if we can make the cycle. Good. That's actually a little bit of a trickier cycle to make sometimes. Uh, if we don't, uh, if we don't do it just right, that shot so will hit us instead. And it, it's not a big deal; it's just a minor inconvenience. And we do have some more brilliant donations out there. Well, we did get a $50 donation from Bollison, I believe is how it is pronounced. And with that, I do want to point out that that $50 that was donated can buy one week of therapeutic milk powder rations for four newborns in the initial phase of treatment of malnutrition. IV solutions used to treat severe dehydration for eight adult patients with cholera, Three jerry cans used by refugees to transport and store clean drinking water and so much more. Thank you all once again for that, for all the donations. And of course, your support keeps MSF fiercely independent. Organizations that take money from governments or institutions face red tape and limits on whom they can help. Your gift safeguards their independence and allows MSF to go wherever they are needed to save lives. Oh, I thought it would have done enough. Whoops. That's fine. Wow. That final throw actually makes sense. You threw a ball back at him. Yeah, so, sometimes the, the best way to know about it is uh, fastball. <laughs> uh, someone asked what my favorite Kirby game on Switch. Honestly, Forgotten Land. For, Forgotten Land is not even... It's. I'd say it's not even close, but... Honestly, the other the other games on are still pretty good, but for Donna Land is definitely uh, a step above, in my opinion. So, what did actually inspire you to actually speedrun a lot of the Kirby games? Was it just that you liked the Kirby franchise so much you wanted to? Was it the challenging aspect of it? I've been into this series since I was five. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I, I have played a lot of these games to death. Um, and to the point, honestly, I kind of low-key speed random anyway, so it just kind of became, why don't I just actually do it? That was, that was a thing, like, I remember growing up, especially with certain games where, like, you being the playground as a kid playing it, like, oh, and especially when games had a timer, like, oh, I beat this in 1345, and your friend's like, oh, I beat it in 12, and you're like, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get 11. And, like, that was, I feel like for, for a lot of us, that was kind of that moment where we were doing it, not actually knowing it, if that makes any sense. That was me with, are with the with the arena modes. It's like, well, these are tied. I want to see how fast I can do it. And right, I don't really yeah. think about that fast. As for, as for the solo ability, that, um, admittedly, that started kind of as a meme. Uh, just before we had category extensions for the, uh, for this game, we had basically what was called the, uh, the Nightmare in Dreamland Memer Board, and one of those runs was, uh, Beam Percent. You know, get through the game with Beam. Um, I ended up being the first one that actually got through it, and then I ended up slowly doing it for the rest of them. <laughs> By the way, so that's Bugsy. Uh, they have Bat Drop. Grows better. <laughs> Unfortunately, Bugsy to be a little bit, a little bit mean sometimes. He'll, his movement isn't 
guaranteed. So sometimes he just does like... Sometimes he won't let you hold actually stay there in one spot. You have to end up throwing it so you can keep getting damage on him. Nothing to do there. We have to wait for that door to open. The fog room. Yeah, there, there's only two rooms like that in the in the game, thankfully. But it's not it's not as fun as the original. The original that has like a whole thing where you move through the room and it spins, and it's really cool. Uh, unfortunately, they did not choose to keep that effect. <laughs> Which is a shame because it actually is one of the more cooler things, especially on late NES hardware. But yeah, it, it's also funny. Yeah, throw, we we have an ability called to throw, and most of the time our solution is not to throw. <laughs> Except for here. That's here, are, uh, we do yeah, want to throw. I'm about to say that's a badly timed statement. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, so I was going for the irony. <laughs> So, like, in that in that earlier when we, you were throwing enemies, was it more like you knew exactly where the enemies were going to spawn, so you already kind of know, like, I need to go from here to here to here to here part to of, here? Yes, part of it, a lot of it's that. However, uh, for those arenas, the next one won't spawn until the enemy is counted as defeated, uh, which is either you defeat them with an ability, you inhale them, or they are off screen. And unfortunately for throw, most of the time it's they are off screen. <laughs> So, so, so you don't really get to uh, chain it that well sometimes. Got you. Did it, we did a great job chaining it that time, though. And we're going to just uh, show Bonkers this lovely coconut that we grabbed. Not sure why he has an issue with it. He likes throwing them at us. <laughs> <laughs> he can dish it, but he can't take it. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds about right. It sounds, it sounds about right for most of the enemies here. Dolls are happy to throw things at us, but then when, once we do it bad, suddenly they have a problem with that. <laughs> uh, by the way, we definitely want to get rid of these. They explode in a radius, and that, they will light Kirby on fire. We don't want oh. that. <laughs> no. Yeah, the radius no. is really big. Oh. It's deceptively big, too. Yeah, it all, it all, yeah, also, by light on fire, I mean actually like a very long knockback effect. Um, depending on where that happens, uh, that could be like an absolute death sentence for our ability because it just goes too far for us to ever hope to get it back. In that room, it's not really a problem. We just did it. We were like right there. It's whatever, but it's still annoying. Yeah, later on, it's going to be a lot more annoying. For, for now, though, we have our, our little ascent to get to our next boss. So, y'all, y'all get to make a choice. Are y'all, uh, y'all feeling sun gained or moon crew? It's moon crew. Yeah, I'm okay with the moon crew. Looks yeah. like they decide. Looks like that's what they went with too. <laughs> it's the only correct answer. Me, me or me? The one person who still does sun gained. I made that look a lot easier than it actually is. Uh, if we're if we're too close, uh, that the sunbeam actually hits us and lights and also ignites us for obvious reasons. <laughs> <laughs> and I do want to say once again for those that are coming in, um, we are thrilled to be part of Twitch's Together for Good event this week. We are going to be raising money for. Doctors Without Borders or MSF to support Doctors Without Borders click the donate button on the on the Games Don't Quick Twitch page beneath the stream. You can also use exclamation mark donate in Twitch chat for more information and again all the funds raised to support Doctors Without Borders mission to provide medical humanitarian assistance to the people solely in need. Some remorse imagine sun being defeated by a lesser star. 
Uh, I'll do you one better. Imagine a sun being beat with the fire ability. You know, in true, just fight fire with fire fashion. Imagine the sun being beaten by light. <laughs> if only light actually did, did damage. <laughs> I don't know why, but it just seems it just seems weird to see Kirby so aggressive just to grab someone else and throw them against a wall. But but some sometimes the solution is obvious. <laughs> I mean, have you not seen the box art of this game? Kirby's angry. Kirby's angry in a lot of boxes. This is wasn't this the start of the angry box art, Kirby's? Oh jeez, I think it might have. I think it was, actually. Oh, yeah, it all started here. Also, I did see questions about the capture card. Um, uh, very brief, I'll just bring up. Uh, the one I use is called a Life Gamer Mini. Um, I've used it for a few years now. It's It's been very good. <laughs> Uh, honestly, a lot of HDMI cards should probably uh, work fine for you, though. And also, now we're just going to throw things at just an airship. <laughs> uh, I was actually a crash bomb earlier there, but we actually threw an enemy at it, so it never exploded. Yeah, we, we try to be very proactive about dealing with those, just so we don't have them blow up on us. Or if they are, they're never not near them, so we don't have to worry about anything uh, really bad happening. Imagine being defeated by sleep. You know, uh, <laughs> there, there is a game called ba Kirby Battle Royale where sleep was a DLC ability for that game, and it's about as strong as Hammer. And I never understood why they never did that again. I don't I don't know either. It would have been so funny in Forgotten Land to just have Kirby beat you up with a pillow. And I do want to point out uh Victor Vaughn just gave us a $50 donation or gave for MSF $50 donation. That put us over $700. We're still wow. very, very early in the day. We're Oh, almost at 750. Thank you all so much. And again, can, can green we see smoothie. Sorry. Can we see 800? Yes, I love to see that. Oh, green smoothie, nice. yum yum with the five dollars. Unholy stream with one. Ht Santa with 15. So many great donations. Again, even a dollar can go a long way. Thank you all so very much for all these generous donations. Yeah, so, uh, fan, that's fan fan. Uh, we have a few nicknames for him, uh, such as, like, such as fan, uh, fan P, Don fan, uh, there's a few others. Uh, Elephant. <laughs> they're, they're actually really cute. I actually like their design. However, uh, it is not fun when they pitch, uh, grab you, because sometimes they'll, uh, throw, what, throw their trunk around, spinning you with it, and then toss you. Yeah, and the animation takes forever too. But that that is that is the enemy that gives us throw. So if we wanted it without Mitsin, that's the only enemy in the game that disses it. And there's only uh like two spots in the game that even show up. And I can't remember, I think that's the actually the first place that we get through. That is the, that is the first place. Uh the second one uh, that I know of is seven two near the end of the game. I thought there was one in six one in that water room. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, there is one in six one, so three. Uh we don't go for that one, because that one wastes time and also it's in the water. <laughs> yeah, that fight's pretty bad. That's a lot of pink. There we go. I, I want to be careful with those slippies. Uh, they are also very mean and will just <laughs> kind of like shoot themselves at you and then you're just in trouble. It's very funny because they could just snipe you from off screen. It's crazy. Yeah, trust me, they'll show up in later and it's going to be just as fun there. Oh, 
also another dark room. You you would wonder, like, is there any way to deal with this? Well, that's what these tool spoons do. They give you light and they uh, light up the room. That That's the use. That's it. <laughs> um, Honestly, they don't really do a whole lot other than that. And you don't really need it even then. He didn't even bother giving White a hat. <laughs> no. No, they don't. Alright, so this is Pratko. We're just gonna um, slowly ascend and hope it doesn't catch us. Because uh, Pratko moves faster than we do, so we uh, don't want him to get to us. But he does slow down if we uh, stop here in a cloud. Except this time he's not. Uh, okay, no, no. Oh, oh. Uh, okay, good. He actually kind of stopped for a bit. And now we're at the top big, anyway. Yeah, under Big Crackle just zooms up. So Crackle's gonna do two attacks. He'll do the lightning swipe across the ground. He's gonna do a little rotation thing. And then the actual fight starts. So we want him to drop. Hey, good. We want him to drop those storm in so we can actually throw them back. I play these games too much. That's how I know the names. <laughs> I was about to ask, but that's, that's a good question to ask a chat. And there we go. The third one, we just show the star man, star man and just Crackers like, oh no. I love how the clouds just look like almost like a mix of like cotton candy. Kind of do. Yeah. A little hint there, yeah. Then we just kind of casually fall through this room. If we stay here, no, none of these are, are even slightly a threat. And I'm just going to play that safe. But uh, sometimes Chili can do like a freeze attack. Uh, but it looks a lot like a shine from Smash. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want it to get hit by it all the same. Uh, the pause screen does not have the exposition like the later games, but it does have like a little blurb about the ability. I actually forget what this one is. Let me see. Yeah, it just tells you like that. Try throwing enemies straight. <laughs> so, wow, that's kind of boring. <laughs> wow. There's some really ridiculous explanations on that screen. Yeah, some of them are actually really funny. But I, but I, like, my favorite is probably Tornado, because it's just, yeah. uh, it's just spin, 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 spin. Gradually <laughs> gets faster until Kirby's, like, actually screaming from how fast it's going. <laughs> so it's like, That's it's great. like spin, 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 ah! <laughs> Uh, Cutter stands out for actually making an anime reference. It basically does the title drop. Uh, which the anime was, like, just Aaron here when this thing came out. So, in fact, this game was kind of a tie-in of sorts. Yeah, I think he, like, promoted it with the anime. Yeah, especially with the commercial. The commercial did a lot of stuff, uh, using the anime. Um, somebody earlier mentioned that it was put to Secret Agent Man. It's the weirdest fact about that commercial. It's a very catchy one, but it, it, it was a weird thing to learn. <laughs> and this stage gets slightly scary. Not not for these two rooms. These two rooms are just fly up or fine. Uh, this route can be kind of can be a little bit worrisome because there's a lot of enemies and it's just a very long room. Uh, what the game wants you to do is like use high jump for those first two rooms and then wheel for this room. Uh, because you have a wheel, this room becomes incredibly easy. Yeah, this room can be a pain without wheel, which is really funny because in Mena Nightmare, it's a giant pain. Yeah, it's, also, it's, a, a it's actually a nightmare. <laughs> a nightmare in Dreamland. Yeah, and if you thought the nightmare was over, no, now we have this room. Uh, thankfully, we do have like a safe way of going through it, which is we can just like hover and kind of gently float down and we're mostly safe. There's a faster version where you try to do like little cancels along the spikes so you don't, so you just barely miss them. And, and then there's the Meta Knight version where you, uh, you'll see that later. 
There's also you can also just put the your ability in your mouth and just damage boost through all that. There's a pepper at the bottom. Hey, if you're feeling lazy. Yeah, if you're yeah, if you want to <laughs> if you want to take the safe uh safe route, you just you do that. <laughs> So I do want to say, go ahead. Go on, you're dead. I was we did hit it over 800 for MS. Yes. Yes. Nice. Ray X clips with the five dollar donations put us above 800. We also had some great ones from Snow one two six seven for five dollars. Uh, Pang W for ten. Dindor for ten. Permit with teeth with five. So we've had so many great, great, great donations have gone through. Thank you all once again so much. All right, now for a set, but now for our down trip. I'm gonna actually hold these for safety, uh, because these blippers can sometimes be a little mean, like that one. <laughs> yeah, like that one. <laughs> Uh, and I see somebody asked about Tedever for Dead. Uh, Vesper, if you want to uh, explain what Tedever for Dead is. <laughs> or, you know, <laughs> the event. <laughs> sure, I would love to. Basically, if we're November 20th, 28th through December 3rd, 2023. Give me one moment here. Uh, Twitch will be promoting streamers, charity fundraising streams, on its homepage and social channels as part of Together for Good, a new global event which celebrates the generosity of the Twitch community. As for us, we're thrilled to be a part of this by streaming to support Doctors Without Borders. A majority of the funds raised for Doctors Without Borders comes from small donations. As you've been seeing, we've seen a lot of $5 donations come through. Those $5 donations can buy 20 medications to prevent and treat postpartum hemorrhage, four treatments to secure to cure adult patients with malaria, five rapid tests to diagnose HIV infection, enough vaccine to immunize th 13 children against measles, three uh, and three obstructional stethoscopes for monitoring fetal heartbeats, and so much more. And it looks like we did get ready to um, get ready for our next milestone. So it looks like when we get a thousand dollars raised, we're going to unlock a blooper showcase for Kirby Superstar Ultra. So that's a nice little thing coming up here once we hit the thousand dollar mark. Trust me, you want to see that. The blooper reel is hilarious. <laughs> it's very cute as well. It, it, it's like a, it's a great way to end uh, an already really good run. So like definitely, definitely sit, uh, sit around after after the uh, Nightmare Dream Lens. Like Superstar Ultra is also a really thick run. Now this is the boss I mentioned that is uh, a. A very big problem if you had if you had backdrop because you would have to uh because backdrop does not let you inhale the enemies, you actually have to like charge at them like suplex. Thankfully we have throw, so we can do this instead. <laughs> and it makes it a lot easier by comparison. That's it, heavy ball is still kind of not fun, because uh after a while heavy ball just moves up and down and does a lot of uh shenanigans. And hopefully they'll be nice. Yeah, it's just hoping that we don't grab something and, and Mo just goes up and just scrolls the screen up and just make us die. Yeah, in this case we had we got it very we got it very lucky. Heavy Mo was very kind to us. But trust me, that um heavy ball can be very mean. Uh that is that is a very rare sight from it. I'm going to just quickly go down and take these two. I'm going to be careful that I don't hit this Gordo. Um, I did not- somehow I did not grab the Glunt. I grabbed the shot from the Glunt. Did the Glunt disappear? The Glunt got hit by the collision of me grabbing the, uh, shot from it. Okay, that happened so fast. I thought the Glunt just straight up disappeared. Yeah, I'm going to play this safe. I'm going to just put this in my mouth. because This room is, uh, very scary with all the enemies. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of projectiles, and these birds can just absolutely ruin your day. Yeah, the, the Twizzies can be mean, the Slippies can also be mean, because they'll just jump at you. 
And, and trust me, it is so much easier to not deal with it. <laughs> uh, likewise, I'm gonna do this. And just kind of like damage boost through that uh, sword knight. That's sorry, blade, uh, blade knight. That one's that one's blade knight. The purple ones are sword knight. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what the difference is otherwise. That just seems to be it. Uh so actually pops the crash bomber right there so it doesn't explode. Yep. Sa same deal as before. We just we're, we're very proactive about dealing with that. Pretty good. The twister did not try to go after us. Sometimes sometimes it goes after us, and I do have a backup threat if that happens. This one, however, um, it safely explodes away from us. <laughs> and instead does, uh, destroys all the enemies for us, which is very convenient because th uh, that boner bird can no longer chase us. By the, by the way, to the people that are breathing up about this game, I'm just I'm just gonna say something I'm sure Shasta will echo later. Uh, play a Kirby game. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I need to play more of them in general. You, you should, they're a good time. I think here give Kirby games a thumbs up. I think the last Kirby game I actually played, um, uh, I actually don't remember the name of it, but it was it was the one on the 3DS that you had to like make bridges for. That's uh, yeah, that's either Triple Deluxe or Rubber Bond. I'm not sure which one based on that. Yeah, that does I'll not. Go, I have to go back. That does not <laughs> narrow it down. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think which one we build a bridge and we. I think it both. might be both. I'll look for it. Give me a minute. Oh, I think it was yeah, Canvas Curse. I think is what it was. Oh, that oh, that's oh. one of the DS ones. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Uh, honestly, Canvas Curse ain't bad either. I've heard Rainbow Curse. I just don't recommend trying to hundred percent Rainbow Curse. By the way, that Sword Knight uh, cannot parry these hands. <laughs> Yeah, if it's like drawing the lines and stuff, yeah, that's definitely Canvas Curse. Yeah. And we're just gonna slowly float, uh, float over the uh, the vertical coconut room, and now here's the horizontal coconut room. Just gonna make sure, as long as we keep moving, they they won't hit us. By the way, you remember how I mentioned about chilies and how they like to shine us? Uh, these are chilies. That's the attack I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I like that me. both of them did it. That was perfectly timed. <laughs> I mean, you could get the freezing ability and get the shine as well. Yeah, it, it's actually not a bad ability. Um, it's it's actually very safe. It's a little bit weaker than spark. Also, when you said I, when you said you called them Chili's earlier, I thought you said Chili's. Chili, that and is that, what I yeah, said. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, ch Chili the Snowman. Yeah, that's what I was, <laughs> okay, so I did hear it right. Now I'm hungry. Okay. You, you, you did. Uh, my, <laughs> I, I'm just bad at saying words sometimes. <laughs> and this is the scariest room of the run. Not this room, actually. Uh, the room after this. Uh, the UFO Family Reunion. This is one of the worst stages in the game. And this is one of the worst rooms in the game. Because <laughs> the UFOs are basically random. And they can just run into you, and you can lose your ability, and it's awful. Yeah, that's why I inflamed it very cautiously. I'm gonna slide into that one and get rid of it. Alright, we're safe. <laughs> Also, with that being said, we did hit 900 for uh, MSF, so thank you all so very much. So much for that. A couple donations real fast. $5 from Cyber Siska, $10 from Snowman, $5 from AE115 underscore, $10 from RPG Dually, Julie, 
Five dollars from X Darth X Ronix X, and five dollars from uh, Cappuccino SW. Thank you all so very much for all these donations. Once again, they're all going to um, MSF. And over the past five decades, MSF has grown from a group of a few hundred volunteers to an international movement providing over 10 million medical consultations in more than 70 countries every year, an MSS network of aid workers in more than 70 countries around the world are often the first to re deploy rapid, life-saving medical care during emergencies. So, uh, this isn't throw. Yeah, what is this? So, Sword in so my throw run? So for some reason, so Meta Knight doesn't let us uh, not use sword. <laughs> wow, we were forced to grab game. it uh, for this fight and only this fight. Luckily, uh, if we have an ability, we are given our old one back as long as we don't die. Um, if you don't have an ability in this game, uh, it gives you the sword. You actually get to keep it. So, so unfortunately, for some reason, we had to throw blades with Meta Knight instead. <laughs> Also, we did just get a nice $50 donation from Bone Snail. That put us so much closer to reaching that goal of unlocking a blooper showcase for Kirby Superstar. And that's that once we raise $1,000, that's going to be unlocked. I can't wait to see that. Also, I love that room uh, because you, throw, you just get to throw it constantly. So up here we have infamous. I guess it's not really infamous in this place because we have throw. Yeah, it's, like boss it, it's infamous rush. if you're doing like eighty percent. Uh, but we we have throw, so uh, we're gonna do this instead. Yeah, everything's just gonna melt here. Uh, but we do have to wait for an attack. Here's fan fan again. Uh, immediately rolling at us. <laughs> Alright, we don't have to wait for an extra attack, that's fine. And we'll just give it its apple bat. And then throw it, uh, throw it through the wall for some reason. It made sense, trust me. Also, you might have noticed that Soul took the top door. That means all the bosses are a bit more aggressive, but we actually face a little, little We aggressive. only fight four instead of, I think it's like, nine. Six. Or is it nine? I thought it was six for some reason. It's, it's, it's more. I know it's more. That that much I do know. Like, if you do the bottom path, you fight every mini boss in the game. And this, uh, if you do the upper path, you fight four of them, but they're all faster. <laughs> Thankfully, we have throw, which uh, just kind of trivializes it. In fact, funny enough, that was actually a gold, uh, a gold, a gold split for me. <laughs> oh, nice! Nice, cool. Nice. This stage isn't actually anything too, too worrisome. Like the Bronner Birds can be bad, but as long as you're constantly moving and you know kind of how to get through the room, it's really safe. Uh, that Bronner Bird uh, was nice. They didn't actually try to come in front of me. <laughs> And, and now for an, and now for another scary stage. Seven six. No seven four. Seven four. I could count. <laughs> yeah, you know those stages in Mario Maker where uh, somebody decides to just throw a bunch of enemies for no, for whatever reason. Uh, that that is the, that is seven four. This is the bad Mario Maker room. Enemies everywhere. And then, and then once you're out of here, you you still, you're not done. Now now you got the clock rooms. Uh. He does well, it's just kind of like a circle. These first two were kind of bad, and then after that, it's uh, everything's kind of like a pattern. Yeah, now we're dead. Did 
to All finally right. the flame room. And while we get a free second, I do want to remind everyone that you uh, you help MSF respond at a moment's notice. Over 80% of MSF doctors, nurses, and logistician, ah, logisticians work in their in their home countries. When disaster strikes, like the war in Ukraine or flooding in Pakistan, these local teams are already on the ground. Constant communication with these teams means MSF can even help prevent crisis before they happen. And of course, you also help MSF save lives. For more than 50 years, their medical teams have been reaching those caught in crisis, from armed conflict to devastating earthquakes, with rapid, fi with rapid response care. Doctors make it possible for them to provide medical treatment to more than 12.5 million people. Thankfully, 7-5 was actually very kind. This, this stage is also terrifying for a lot of reasons. The first room has all these trash bombers that can blow up in her face. The, uh, the wind tunnel can just see you die. It's... it's a time. <laughs> and now we're on to the penultimate stage, uh, kind of our little... Re little retro retrial through, like, uh... Dreamland 1. Uh, for some reason, they... they kept the stage. Uh, but now all the enemies are in color, unlike the original, unlike the NES version, where they're all, uh, black and white as one side. But Kirby's the only thing that isn't. In that version. Uh, but we're going through the Castle Low 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 rooms. We're about to enter the Float Islands rooms. And then these, uh, the Swishies look scary, but they're actually not. They, they, they will always come over our heads. And I'm going to make sure I don't lose that. Now we're fine. I'm going to grab this token. I'm going to throw it down and spike it down into this Tabu to make sure uh, they don't have to do anything funny. And now we're fine. I'm gonna grab this tomato for safety because two health is a uh, not a fun uh, idea. And now we have this room with all these starfies, uh, which is gonna make them kind of come in, so we don't have to worry about them. Slide through here. I don't know why the Game Boy aesthetic is something that I really love. Oh, it's it's still really neat. I just think it looks neater in, in the NES version. Yeah. And, and now it is time to uh, throw hands with DDD. And by that, I mean we're going to hold us, hold things in front of him and hope, hope he likes that. <laughs> so we're gonna, I'm going to make him do this. Uh, That's fine. That's, that's fine. I need him to do it. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. That is actually oh. the ideal situation. Oh. But now I need him to do another star. And that is uh, the last thing I need him to do. Oh, no. Yeah, he's kind of the that's right the now. bat. That's the slow attack. <laughs> there we go. Nice. And for all intents and purposes, that is it for throw, but now we're going to throw stars around instead. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Nightmare Orb. Yeah, you know, kind of a, a kind of a fan favorite in a GDQ circle, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. I can't think of any, I mean... And I, 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 like I enjoy circles. Ball. Not like for anything else. By the way, we are very, very, very close to getting to that uh, 1,000 mark. Would be really cool to make that before... Either before this run finishes or before Meta Nightmare finishes. Right, yeah. I think we can do that. That is, in fact, an orb. And now it is not an orb. It is a wizard. <laughs> it was an imposter. 
Yeah, so this is not even proper wait, wait. form, and it's like straight out of the 80s. Oh, I really enjoy that. So he he'll take six hits from this. Uh, last hit is when time will happen. There's two. There's three. I always find this version of Nightmare funny because the hitbox on this one is so much bigger than it is in Adventure. Or at least it looks bigger. Yeah, it's also very much kind of a scripted fight in how it plays out. If, if you don't miss any attacks. Alright, there here comes the last one, and time. Nice. That's really well done. That was that was actually really solid. It was only like a few seconds over my current best. That's a, that's a good time though. But yeah, that that is that is uh but yeah. Like 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 I said, play play a Kirby game. Do do it with like one ability if you really want. Uh, some of these some of these are actually really fun to actually do them with. Some are not. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, see, so I mentioned in the chin on Nightmare. Yeah, the, the chin on Nightmare is, is a thing. <laughs> well, we're not we're not out of the woods with, with Nightmare, though, because after this, we do have uh, meta Nightmare versions of Nightmare in Dreamland. And, of course, just before we get things ready for that, of course, do not forget that we are uh, raising money for... Um, in support of Doctors Without Borders or Médecins Sans Frontières or MSF. MSF is an independent medical humanitarian organization that delivers emergency aid to people affected by armed conflict, epidemics, malnutrition, natural disasters, and exclusion from healthcare with regard to race, religion, or political affiliation. And of course, you can trust all of your investments to MSF. Dollar for dollar, the impact donors make by supporting Doctors Without Borders is unparalleled. MSF is committed to directing every dollar they can to their life-saving programs. And of course, we still have so much more coming up here today on this beautiful, beautiful uh Together for good December. Uh, this, ah, I can't talk. Together for good day. I never had one of those moments, but like I said just a second ago, Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland Meta Nightmare is coming up next. This is a great time to get up, get some water, stretch, hydrate, while we get things set up for our next game. Stay tuned.